So Brad, continuing the conversation on the new FlexiDome 8000i, let's chat a little bit about field of view, lens options, focal lengths. What do these keywords mean to customers? So um, if we're meeting with a customer and they say, I want to look at or see a specific thing, what is a, a fixed lens versus a varifocal lens? Fixed lens is going to fix you into a, it's not going to allow you to zoom. So you're, you're fixed with either uh, a three millimeter lens, which is a very wide angle, or uh, it could be fixed at a more varifocal, more telephoto, which means you're zoomed in further and you cannot adjust it. So you're fixed on that. Um, but uh, varifocal, you can actually manually, in more traditional cameras, manually adjust the zoom capability during a specific or through a specific range. Awesome. Yeah, so with, with that being said, there's, there's a few different variants to this new 8000i, which is really attractive and appealing to customers, going to provide them lots of different options. So in the 1080p 2 megapixel version, the 6 megapixel and the 8 megapixel 4K, you have your standard 3 to 9 varifocal. That's going to give customers the option of a wide angle or a little bit tighter field of view. Um, in addition, we also have a 12 to 40 millimeter super telephoto um, lens in the 6 megapixel, and we have a 10 to 23 in the 1080. So, you know, when I think of w what do these varifocal lenses mean to customers, I always revert back to the Dory chart. And I know we've done some segments on Dory, uh, what Dory is as a standard. So, detect, observe, recognize, identify. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that in terms of what that means to a customer? Sure, absolutely. And your different varifocal lenses are going to come into play based on the application and where the camera needs to be put in. So if you're looking at a hallway, corridor, um, elevator, you're going to want the widest lens possible. And that's achieved by having a uh, varifocal lens with the lowest number. So your three millimeter lens is going to be your widest angle. Um, going up to your 40 millimeter on the 6 megapixel, that's going to give you a further out view uh, when you're trying to capture something outside, maybe a, a perimeter fence, something like that. <clears throat> so being able to uh, de detect, uh, observe, recognize, or identify, it depends on how far away that object is from the device. Um, and then matching that with the proper lens configuration to make sure you're going to have enough pixels on target to be able to accomplish your task. Awesome. Yeah, and, and I had run a, a quick example just to figure out. So let's use perimeter detection, um, whether it's a corrections environment, a data center. Uh, if someone was using the new 6 megapixel version of this to identify that this is Mike Garino from Bosch, with the 3 to 9 millimeter, if I had it at the 9 millimeter as tight as possible, I could detect Mike Garino at 53 feet. Right. If we went to the 12 to 40 version, with a super, super telephoto long field of view, now all of a sudden I can detect that that is Mike Garino at 190, 195 feet. Right. So a significant um, advantage, and these are based off, again, these Dory standards, industry standards based on pixels per square foot. So I think just in general, based on the different applications that our customers have, giving them a wider array of lens options is going to be tremendous. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure some viewers are asking why don't we have or why are we fixed to one uh, lens option with the 4K. But that's because with the 4K you're getting higher resolution. You're getting more uh, optical or you're getting the optical zoom and then more digital zoom to be able to put enough pixels on target. So you're still achieving what you need. Awesome. I know, uh, yeah, the, the one new kind of acronym or buzzword that's come up is this PT, PTRZ. Correct. Um, so not a traditional varifocal dome here, uh, you know, a game changer, latest and greatest. So can you talk about PTRZ, what that means and what that is in the FlexiDome 8000i? Sure. And so PTRZ, if we break down the acronym, is Pan, Tilt, Roll, Zoom. Um, and these are separate from your standard autofocus that, that has been achieved even in traditional cameras currently. Uh, so pan, this device is going to give you uh, 361 and a half degrees around, which means if you looked at the center of the picture and then maybe marked it at the, at the very end of the picture, you'd be able to have that zero come around all the way 
and bypass your, your widest or your limit, which means you're getting a full rotation and being able to capture anything without having to reposition the camera. Because I can tell you there's a huge frustration out there with standard um, AVF or auto verifocal lenses or cameras that once the installer puts it up, tries to turn the camera module to gap, capture what he needs, realizes that there's a limit there, has to pull the bolts or the screws back down, reposition the entire housing, put it back up to get, to get the, the camera where he needs it to be. So I think the one really important thing to hit, you know, to make note of is the fact that this is not a pan tilt zoom camera. It is not Correct. designed to be driven around by an operator. This is a remote commissioning tool. That's um, correct. Designed for install and commissioning purposes only. But the flexibility that it gives a customer is if their field of view today is different than what their field of view is a year from now, we don't have to get a technician up in a bucket truck, on a ladder, physically touching the camera. We can do all of that remotely. Yeah, it drastically reduced your recommissioning costs. I mean, you don't have to go up and touch it. Uh, during installation or if your customer decides that maybe the, the original um, view that was configured isn't optimal for their application and what they're actually trying to capture. Um, so the, the ability to pan all the way around um, really alleviates anybody having to go up and, and try and get that optimized. Um, so then we go into our tilt. Our tilt, um, you can go, it's minus three five. 3.5, I should say, up um, to give you a good above the horizon. And then you can go down to 90, so straight down, um, which that's a full gamut. There's really no, no reason to be outside of those, yeah. those numbers. So, so using our, our Flexidome 8000i that we have outside in this beautiful rainy day, yeah. um, can you just show everyone exactly if, if I if you and I were installing a new 8000i today, and I went out and I had put the camera up, didn't have to take the bubble, didn't have to point the actual lens itself, how would we commission this camera remotely? So in this example, we're using the project assistant tool to uh, do a commissioning of this device remotely. Um, here you can see that we have your normal uh, zoom. Um, the focus will happen automatically but you can come in here and manually adjust the, the pan um, and, and position the device where you need it to be. Um, and then as we were just saying, the tilt, if we need to come down, we can do that. And then the next thing, part of that acronym is your roll, right? So if we wanted to come in, let's bring it back up just a tad to get some of these vehicles back in line. But now we can do this, which if we're trying to capture a specific scene that requires a manual roll of the lens, let's say if we're surface mounted in a ceiling and we're looking straight down on a table that maybe is curved, we can roll that image to, to capture that, uh, that table. Um, or if we're wall mounted directly on the wall, and we need to tilt all the way over and then roll it to get to get uh, flat surface, then we can do that as well. Yeah, you know, it's, it's really incredible. And I think the one nice thing with this project assistant app from a commissioning standpoint is you want to go and just click on uh, or highlight one of the vehicles in the, in sure. the background. The nice thing about this is what will happen is once we highlight a target, even with our roll being off center, the camera is going to have the ability to go ahead and center that back on. And we're doing this all remotely. Not we're camera. doing this all remotely. We don't have to be out there in the rain. You know, I think in, in summary, there's a, it's a big conversation with customers in terms of what are their areas they want to cover? What's the field of view? A lot of the times you and I know being out in the field, they don't necessarily know. We may not know. Um, so I think the flexibility in terms of different lens options, the remote commissioning aspect, uh, it really just gives the customer that safety valve that if it is not the right field of view at first, 
we can adjust it Absolutely. very easily compared to in the past. Absolutely.